So, every once in a blue moon, I go to the website DistroWatch. And upon going to that site, I noticed the uh, page hit ranking was a little different than I'm used to. There was the addition of this. Number nine, we have Cashy OS. Never heard of it personally, and I was just curious, what the hell is this thing? So I whipped out this Minisform N100 mini PC. You can see the processor right here. It's a pretty lightweight system. And I installed it. So you can see right there, this is Cashy OS. This is their logo. Go back to system details here. The only other thing I kind of noticed was that it has its very own kernel. It is the Cache OS Linux 6.11 kernel. So what, what is Cache OS? Let's head over to their website. This is designed to deliver lightning fast speeds and stability, ensuring a smooth, enjoyable computing experience for or every time you use it. No matter who you are, powerful, customizable, blazing fast operating system. So here are the benefits. It compiles with all these uh, instruction sets to provide better performance, supposedly. It uses the bore scheduler, a lot of super technical stuff within the corner. Whoa, to try to, to, try to improve the uh, performance. Uh, you can select your preferred edition, so I did go ahead and install it. The installation process um, was, for the most part, seamless, except for when I tried to start it, um, I would click the start installer button, but it wouldn't open. I then connected to Wi-Fi and it opened up, which is great. Uh, it was the Calamaris installer and you did get to pick your actual desktop edition and they have a, basically all of the desktops that are worth a damn within that selection for the installation. So that is nice. You could tell I just picked the GNOME version. That's what I'm used to. It's what I like. It's not one of those distros that goes like over the top customizing everything. So it doesn't really matter when it comes to demonstrating this, what distro you pick. This browser that I'm using, if I hit Windows key here, is their browser, supposedly. It's the Cache OS web browser. It's just a fork of Firefox with some patches from LibreWolf that are incorporated for a better experience. And you can use this with a CLI, and that is everything that they list under their uh, benefits of using it. So essentially the vibe that I'm getting is this is kind of another one of those um, like Arch GUI, Arco um, type, or even Endeavor OS type operating systems. It's Arch Linux with a uh, clean, easy to use installer that they pack in a bunch of tweaks and performance improvements to try to make it even better than a uh, basic Arch install. They do have a wiki here with uh, moderately comprehensive stuff, so how uh, it improves performance. I'll link to this down below so you can read all about this. Um, most of it is above my personal skill set. CPU scheduler support. I can't get beyond a basic definition of what that is. They do have some of their own applications that we're gonna dive into. They have their browser, which is just this, it's Firefox, uh, their kernel manager, they have Cache Hello, insta or application installer, rate mirrors, and system D boot manager. That's another thing during the, uh, when you first click install, you get a little prompt that comes up that allows you to pick your bootloader, and it's between uh, system D, grub, and uh, what is it? It's like R E F I something here. Boot managers installation. Here we are. We have system D boot, which is the default. We have uh, there it is. Refined. Refined is actually really cool if you want to have this as a, a multi boot system or any your computer as a multi boot system. It's a fantastic bootloader. And then of course we have Grub. So you have to pick that before it will even launch Calamaris, which again is the installer. You go through that. It's a pretty basic Calamaris thing. In addition to picking your desktop environment, and you're good to go. I was kind of reading up on what other people are saying about this thing. Uh, mostly positive overall. This dude had problems with the uh, Linux on the latest gen AMD uh, GPUs. Uh, Cache OS is what keeps them coming back to Linux and experimenting. Got a negative one here. My experience is nothing but trouble. All presumed placebo level performance gain don't worth the issues you'll have to troubleshoot constantly but they do give a shout out to butterfs which is the uh, default file system in the uh, installation great for me on a rx 7800 xt this is the fastest most stable linux i've ever used so definitely a mixed bag at least on this one reddit thread <laughs> But if you do have a pretty powerful AMD GPU, this does seem like something that might be worth using. Uh, but into some of their custom things, this is, uh, welcome to Cache OS. This is Cache OS Hello. Very, very similar and basic compared to other things. We have links to their wiki, forms, uh, release information, the README. If I click the README, it just takes me through here. Go up. But this also links to other tools such as apps and tweaks here. If I click on this, Again, a lot of other distributions or spins of other distributions 
ship with something like this. You have some options here. Oh, there it is, Bluetooth enabled. I was trying to figure that out earlier. Why is that off by default? I was trying to hook up my Bluetooth mouse, but I had to get this little jankity extra one to plug it into this mini PC. Wouldn't turn on, I don't know. System update, reinstall all packages. So just some fixes, uh, clear cache, remove orphans. Just some good things to do every once in a while. And over here we have applications. So they have two applications. We have the uh, Kashi OS uh, package installer, which if we open this up, this again is something I do like and I do appreciate but a lot of other distributions that are kind of spins of bigger ones do this. So if I drop down the audio, we could just check the box for the things we want installed, such as Audacity is something I use. If we go down to browsers, Microsoft Edge isn't on here. <laughs> Communication, just all the super popular applications, not everything in the category, but a lot of good stuff, such as Docker and development. If we go games here, of course, zero AD is the first one. Graphics, GIMP should be in here, which it is. So you could go through here. I'm not gonna go through every single one, but we just click install. And the following packages are selected, 302 megabytes. Let's just hit okay. Prompts us for the password. Oh, this is weird. So I have to, why, enter. <laughs> As time goes on, and I try out various Linux distributions, I haven't really done first uh, first impression, kind of look at a distro video like this in quite a while, because a lot of them are the same. These types of videos do get redundant and boring after a while, that's why I kind of strayed away from doing them, unless if there's like a major like Ubuntu Fedora type release. But why can't, why would I use this when I could just use like the software center? Like, okay, you can click multiple ones, but this is just like a GUI for typing a, uh, like, yay, S-Y-U, and then the name of every single program. It's, it seems to me personally like a waste of development time. We have repo console output. I'm going to close that out and check out their kernel manager real quick. Casio OS kernel manager. So here are all of their kernels. Uh, it does look like you can get the regular Linux kernel, LTS, regular Linux Zen kernel, as opposed to using theirs if you would like to. Uh, if I go configure, what's this? Ah, there we go. Ooh, enable Cache OS config. So we do some tweaks here, enable Numa, uh, Mod Probe DB, patches here. So this is a link to the various patches that they have installed. So base all, schedule, bore. When it comes to like end user experiences, there's no like, Better, when it comes to like graphical user experience, there's no real benefit from this from anything else. But again, if you're having issues or if you want to try this out because you have a, like a gaming rig that you want to use Linux on, it might perform better. So it might be worth trying out for you. I don't, I'm a cheapskate. This is a $200 computer I'm running this off of. You know what, let's, let's run a Geekbench test because I think I've benchmarked this before. Let's see if I get some, if I get, 15% better Geekbench scores with this, I can say, okay, there might be a, a performance benefit. Ooh, will you look at that. Running NeoFetch on terminal launch. Absolutely approve of that. <laughs> and there we go, our benchmark is cooking. And here are my results. So unfortunately, the only other system I ran, or the only other operating system that I ran Geekbench on this system was Windows. So that's gonna be our comparison here. And the differences isn't too significant here under single core score. We have about a 50 point difference, which makes out to just under 4%. And then on the multi-core score, uh, we have a hundred point difference, which makes out to just above 4% difference or 4% gain in performance, at least on the geek bench tests specifically. So it might be there. I would, I do wish I had that really nice hardware to kind of test this out on. But a thing I've noticed is the better and better hardware that you get, the tighter and tighter the uh, benchmark scoring is when at least when it comes to Windows versus Linux, with obviously a few exceptions. And that's kind of going to get me to my next point. I'm currently working on my next uh, Windows versus Linux benchmarking video. So do watch out for that. Um, right now I'm planning on using Endeavor OS as the Arch system that we test, but I might do vanilla Arch. I could use this. Uh, let me know down below what you guys think, and let me know what you think of this operating system. I know I don't do these kind of Linux first impression videos that often anymore for the reasons that I stated earlier, but I was curious to check it out. I hope you enjoyed it. Do you use it? Do you plan on using it? Do you want to try it out? Also, let me know that down below. And 
with all that, I do hope you have an absolutely beautiful day and goodbye.